The Path to Happiness Part 4 Belief in the Messengers of Allah They are the ones whom we are to emulate. One will not know Allah or reach ultimate happiness except through them. Imam Ibn al qayyim said in his book Zad al mayad In relation to a cure that will cure the hearts, it can only be attained from what the messengers delivered. Hearts would become well only by knowing their Creator and by striving to do the good and avoiding the unlawful that angers Allah. The heart cannot become healthy except with this. One will not know any of this except through the revelation brought by the messengers. Whoever thinks that they can achieve a healthy status without following the guidance delivered by them is indeed a fool. They would be living an animalistic life, following their desires and whims. Whoever cannot differentiate between these two states has a lifeless heart. Belief in the last day. When one believes in the last day and that people will be resurrected and then rewarded or punished, he will feel rested and assured that if he is oppressed in this life and cannot regain his rights, that Allah will give it to him in the hereafter. In the hereafter, payment is not with cash, rather, it is with deeds. The Prophet said to his companions, Do you know who the bankrupt is? They said, He is the one who has no money. The Prophet replied, The bankrupt is he who comes from my nation with great deeds. Prayers, fasting and charity, but having wronged so many that he would give those whom he wronged each of his good deeds, until all of them are finished. He would then take from their sins and then be tossed into hell. Muslim. Accountability and justice is not between mankind only, but also amongst the animals. The Prophet said. Rights will be given to their rightful owners. Even the right of a sheep that was gorged by a ram will be taken as well. Ibn Hibban. When one believes in the last day, they will not be discomforted when they are unable to attain something in this life, for indeed better things are waiting for them in heaven. The Prophet said that Allah said, I have prepared for my believing slaves what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard about and what no mind has imagined. The Prophet then said, Recite if you wish. And no soul knows what has been hidden for them of pleasure for their eyes as reward for what they used to do. 32 colon 17, when a calamity hits a believer, he bears it patiently, knowing it is a trial from Allah. All of the pain that he bore will be forgotten once he enters paradise. The Prophet said, The richest, most blessed person in this life will be brought forth and will be dipped into hell and taken out, and then asked, O son of Adam, have you seen any goodness in your life? He would say, No Allah. Then the most miserable person in this life would be brought forth and he would be dipped into heaven and then asked, Have you witnessed any hardship? He would say, No Allah. Muslim. The belief in this pillar will cause the Muslim to strive in doing the good. Belief in preordainment. We believe that what has befallen us has been ordained by Allah, and what has missed us from a calamity or goodness would never be for us if Allah has not decreed it. Allah says, No disaster strikes upon the earth or within ourselves except that it is in a register before we bring it into being, indeed that, for Allah, is easy. In order that you not despair over what has eluded you and not exult in pride over what he has given you. And Allah does not like the self-deluded and boastful. 57,22-23, the Prophet, said to one of his companions, O young man, I shall teach you some words of advice, be mindful of Allah, and Allah will protect you. If you ask, then ask Allah alone, and if you seek help, then seek help from Allah alone. And know that if the nation were to gather together to benefit you with anything, they would not benefit you except with what Allah had already ordained for you. And if they were to gather together to harm you with anything, they would not harm you except with what Allah had already ordained. The pens have been lifted and the pages have dried. Hakim. Belief in destiny will cause one to become happy and will put his heart at ease. One would not fret or become upset over lost chances. The Prophet said, The strong believer is better and more beloved to Allah than the weak believer though in both there is goodness. Be careful to do that which is beneficial to you and do not despair. Indeed, that which has befallen you cannot be avoided so do not say, If I had done this or that, for indeed if opens the door to the devil. Muslim. One should not despair over a missed opportunity. If one is to actually take a moment and look at common ailments, it will be clear that the majority of diseases are on account of worries that are widespread. In other words, they are a result, whether direct or indirect, of disbelief in this pillar. When one believes truthfully in this pillar they will be able, by the will of Allah, to overcome their worries and concerns. Types of Fear and Its Cure 
Fears, concerns and worries have treatments and cures in Islam. A person may carry fear from certain things on account of a variety of things. Fear of not having enough provisions. Allah says, And in the heaven is your provision and whatever you are promised. 51 22 Allah has told the truth. Indeed, in the heavens there is a provision for people. For example, rain falls and vegetation grows. People also benefit from the rainwater directly. Allah has promised to take care of the provisions for each individual. Allah says, And there is no creature on earth but that upon Allah is its provision, and he knows its place of dwelling and place of storage. All is in a clear register. 11.6 No matter how weak a creature is, his provisions are assigned to him by Allah. Allah says, And how many a creature carries not its own provision? Allah provides for it and for you. And he is the hearing, the knowing. 29.60 Allah addressed Mary while she was in a state of weakness and pain during her labor with Jesus. And shake toward you the trunk of the palm tree, it will drop upon you ripe, fresh dates. 19.25 Allah not only gave her dates, but fresh dates. All she had to do was shake the tree, and the dates fell within her reach. Allah also has provided for the animals. They easily find means of sustenance wherever they are. The Prophet said, If you were to truly depend upon Allah, He would provide for you as He provides for the birds. They leave their nests with empty stomachs and return with full stomachs. IBN Major Many tend to depend upon God in the wrong way. In order for it be correct, one must do his part. The Prophet once told a man who left his camel without tying it, wrongly thinking that this was trusting in God. Tie your camel and then trust Allah. IBN Hibben Many a time, some tend to neglect this and will simply want provisions to appear magically. The Prophet said, If one of you were to sell firewood, it would be better for him than to beg. Bukhari From this we understand that we should strive to attain the provisions assigned to us by Allah. One should not be fearful that someone will prevent them from their assigned provisions, for Allah says. Say to them, If you possess the depositories of the mercy of my Lord, then you would withhold out of fear of spending. And ever has man been stingy. 17 100 A. Fear of harmful things, such as sicknesses and calamities that may befall a person. No matter how a person worries over this, it will not change the matter in the least. On the contrary, it may even worsen his condition. Allah says, And if Allah should touch you with adversity, there is none to remove it except him, and if he intends for your good, then there is none to block his bounty. He causes it to reach whom he wills of his servants. And he is the forgiving, the merciful. 10 107 The Messenger of Allah said, Amazing indeed is the attitude of the believer, all his affairs are ultimately good for him and this is only for a believer. When he is graced with a blessing, he would be grateful to God and it would be good for him, and when he is afflicted with a calamity, he would be patient and it would be good for him. Muslim. The Prophet ordained that we accept the calamities that have befallen us and seek to alleviate them. Once when the Prophet went to visit his grandchild he shed some tears. He sat with the child while he was on his deathbed. The child's eyes froze in their places like stones. Upon seeing that, the Prophet wept. Said said to him in reference to the tears. What is this, O Prophet of God? He said, This is a mercy that God, the exalted, places in the hearts of his slaves. Truly, God is merciful to those who are merciful towards others. Bukhari. Patience is required of a Muslim and whoever falls sick is to seek medical attention. The Prophet said, Seek medical attention, O servants of Allah, for indeed Allah has not ordained a disease but there is a cure for it. Ibn Hibban. One should be aware not to seek medical treatment from unlawful sources. Abu Huraira said, the Messenger of Allah forbade using medicines from unlawful sources. Hakim. He also said, Every disease has a cure, those who are ignorant of the cure would be ignorant of it, and those who know it will know it. Ibn Hibban. B. Fear of death. Death is a reality that everyone will experience. Allah says, Everyone upon the earth will perish and there will remain the face of your Lord, owner of majesty and honor. 55 26 No one can escape death.
Alice says. Say, indeed, the death from which you flee, indeed, it will meet you. Then you will be returned to the knower of the unseen and the witnessed, and he will inform you about what you used to do. 62 8. What a person should be concerned with is what is to come after death, not death itself. Trying to prevent death or finding cures for it is something that is futile. Allah says. And for every nation is a specified term. So when their time has come, they will not remain behind an hour, nor will they proceed at dot. 734. The one who hates death is one who has weak faith or no faith at all. When one believes in the final day, the resurrection and the account, they will certainly be at ease. A person who believes in death will work to better his situation after death and with this he will become a positive member of society. He will not be upset at chances that have passed or with the oppression of an oppressor, for all of them will be brought to account before Almighty Allah.